Hi friends! So I have some sick kids, so we are staying home today and crafting and making some soup in the Instant Pot. So yesterday I got a chicken at Costco and we had about half of it for dinner. And today I'm going to turn it into bone broth and a tortilla spinach kind of chicken noodle soup. So what you need to do is just take your whole chicken. It doesn't have to have this much meat on it, but your carcass from your Costco chicken or your grocery store chicken. You take the whole thing, even all the stuff, the juice that's in the bottom there, and you're going to stick it in the Instant Pot. And what you want to do is use like a vegetable strainer in the very bottom so that after you're done cooking and everything's all fallen apart you're wanting to get the bones out and so the best way to do that is to use the vegetable steamer basket you can just pull it up I've got my chicken in and pull everything out that way and then all of this goopy stuff that's in the bottom here you want to get that in there too because all that is is just yummy juicy drippings from the chicken and that's going to have lots of flavor in it but you're going to get most of the nutrients from the bones. Again, ignore my messy counter because we're doing all kinds of crafting today, so everything's a mess. But then you're going to take your water, and I kind of use it to douse down the chicken, and you're going to want to get it, as you can see, I'm using about eight cups of water. You want to get it high enough in there that it's kind of touching your chicken. So as that cooks and seeps, down into your water. It's not covering the chicken, but as the chicken cooks and kind of softens, it falls into the water. That's what you're going to get. So I'm going to turn it on just regular pressure cook for two hours and let that cook down. And then I will take the chicken out and pull all the bones out and then put the meat back into the liquid. And then I will have a part two of this video where I add all the other ingredients and you can see. Now, if you're using this method to just jar up the broth to use for different recipes and keep for later, you want to add at this time an onion, two big carrots, and about a, about a half a stalk of celery if it's a smaller one, a third of a stalk of celery if it's a large one. And you can just add that all whole, and it's going to help give flavor to your bone broth. You can also add a couple of cloves of garlic because garlic is great for health purposes to help you get better. Okay, so I'll be back soon with step two to show you the rest of this recipe, but this is where you're going so far just to make your bone broth. And like I said, I'll add some carrots and celery and everything later when I'm making the soup, um, but you don't really need to add them up front just for a soup that you're gonna be adding those things to later.